Imagine you're this athlete, flipping through space. You can't trust your eyes. All you can do is feel. Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Wells. From no hand cartwheels to no look backflips, gymnasts on the balance beam seem like they're spinning off into the void. But then, somehow, they manage to land on a narrow beam just 10 centimeters wide. So how do they possibly pull it off? They rely on what's called proprioception. Here's how it works. Muscles and joints have nerve cells called proprioceptors. They shoot messages to our brain about where our limbs are in space, even if our eyes can't see them. It's an amazing internal sonar, the same way bats fly in the dark without crashing. But they also need what's called hyperextension. Spines have 33 bones, or vertebrae, protecting the spinal cord. They're separated by discs that act like shock absorbers. Normal backs have 20 to 35 degrees of hyperextension, but gymnasts have at least twice that range. There's a downside to hyperextension. It happens when a vertebrae slips out of place in the spine. If it hits a nerve, it can be horribly painful and might even need surgery to repair. It only happens to about 6% of us, but for gymnasts, the number climbs to almost 50%. Internal sonar, hyperflexibility. It's risky flying this high, but that's the only way to gold.